So this the question then becomes, uh, what are we feeding our microbiota? And this has changed incredibly over the, the past uh, uh, hundreds of years as we have uh, modified our diet from a more traditional one to one that is more industrialized. So traditional populations, uh, even nowadays, for example, the Hadza that are pictured here, have a, a diet that is very non-processed and is very rich in fiber. Conversely, what has happened to us is that as industrialized populations, we have developed types of foods that have much more easily accessible nutrients that are very highly processed and that lack fiber. And they really lack the type of food that our microbiota needs to survive in its uh, initial form. Here, what is very important is that there really isn't anything that is fundamentally wrong with an industrialized uh, lifestyle. It's just how we respond to it that is problematic. And this really goes back to evolutionary timescales. Here, this is a, a picture that I really uh, like a lot by Banksy that shows a, a, a primitive person that is eating McDonald's. From the perspective of our own evolution, we have evolved with our microbiota ever since animals have had a gut. That was uh, over 548 million years ago. And during this time, we have also evolved with a non-industrialized lifestyle. The difference here between how our microbiota responds to how we respond to changed lifestyle comes from the fact that our own human generation time of having their next offsprings is in the order of 20 to 30 years. But for bacteria, it's 10 million times shorter. What this means is that upon changing our lifestyle, it doesn't take very long for the microbial species that are not doing well in, in that new uh, environment to become eradicated. But in the meantime, our own human biology hasn't had the chance to adapt. What this means is that uh, in the end, our biology may be mismatched to an, our industrialized lifestyle. And we know that this also happens very strongly through our microbiota. 